All right, guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my full review of Helium 10 um, and why I think it's one of the best suite of tools available for us FBA sellers. Now, I just wanna kind of put a caveat on this video um, that I will be offering some affiliate links at the end as well as discount codes, but that is not in any way impacted what I think on this product. Now, I've been contacted by a number of companies over the last kind of nine months since the channel's been going, asking me to review their products and um, offer affiliate links on the channel, and I have never offered an affiliate link on this channel. So it's the first time I'm gonna do that, and it's only because I truly believe in the software. Um, and if you've been watching my channel for the last few months, you know, uh, you will know I've been using the free version of Helium 10, um, and I believe it works really well. So I've lately, I've been using the premium version, and I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you all of the features. I'm also gonna compare some of the bits to Jungle Scout, which is kind of the benchmark um, for some of these tools. Um, and then hopefully you can make your own decision from that to see whether it's worthwhile for you. So what I'm gonna kick off with is comparing their Chrome extension to the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. So with Helium 10, their Chrome extension is called X-Ray. Um, and the good thing about X-Ray is you can actually try it out for free. So if you sign up for a free Helium 10 account, you get 1,000 free requests. Now that's not 1,000 lookups, um, it's 1,000 requests, so each product counts as a request. So you're probably gonna get, I don't know, maybe 50, 50 attempts at this, but for free, you know, it's pretty good. Um, in terms of accuracy, it's, it's almost on par with Jungle Scout. I'm gonna compare some data back to back. Um, I'm taking the wooden chopping boards example. I showed you that in the PPC video from last week. Um, one addition I really like with X-Ray is this sales column here, which is a direct integration for Keeper, um, which is great for seeing sales history so that you can see the seasonality of a product and how well it's been selling. So that is my favorite addition um, to this extension versus Jungle Scout. Otherwise, it's pretty much like for like. They you know they have very similar feature set, um, just with kind of a few differences here or there. You know, in all honesty, Jungle Scout is probably a fraction quicker in my experience, um, but that could be the Keeper integration slowing it down a, a fraction. Um, just to show you how that works, if we just pick a random product there, it will show you the sales data for the last 30 days. You can adjust that to kind of one year um, or all time, and then you can see in more detail how that product's been selling over that duration. So that's one of the really useful features that's integrated directly into X-Ray. So how does this compare to the Jungle, Cat, Jungle Scout Chrome extension? Well, I took some screenshots earlier so that we can do it directly in Photoshop. Um, and if we compare these, so for example, this one here by Harkas, you've got the premium organic bamboo chopping board. Uh, Jungle Scout is saying 680 sales per month and X-Ray is saying 652. So you know there or thereabouts. If you look at the next couple, we've got 324 and 190 then 369 and 199. So maybe X-Ray is very slightly underestimating what Jungle Scout is. Um, as to which one's more accurate, that would vary from category to category and product to product. But the overall thing you should take from comparing these stats is they might not be 100% match, but that kind of 95% match. And when you're looking at these tools, you're looking for an overview of the market and either one of these tools will give you exactly what you need. So, you know, for me, you don't really lose much either way, whichever one you take. Um, I'm kind of edging towards X-Ray because I like the Keeper integration, but obviously Jungle Scout is slightly faster in my experience. Um, but that's just one of the tools you get with Helium 10, and this is where it had the big advantage over the other, other packages out there. So I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna log into my Helium 10 account and show you some of the other tools. So once you're logged into Helium 10, you get a whole suite of tools to choose from. Um, I'll explain all in a bit more detail on the homepage, but if you start at the top, we've got Black Box. Now this is the equivalent of your Jungle Scout web app. So all you need to do is enter your filters exactly as you would with any other of these lookup tools. So we pick a category, um, I don't know, let's choose uh, garden and outdoors. We pop in a price, let's choose uh, 20 pound to 30 pound, um, a review count. So I always search 100 plus, everyone else is searching less than 100, but I know what we can compete with products that have got one to 200 reviews. So I'm gonna search in that area. Um, so if I find a product, um, I know that not everyone else in the FBA world is searching for it, um, and I know that I can compete with those products. Um, and you can also add additional filters as well. So if you wanted to, example, um, restrict the weight, if you want to look at, say, um, air freight only products, restrict that to a, to a low thing, and um, you've got various other filters to experiment with. Like I say, I'll probably do more in-depth videos on each one of these in the coming weeks. So hit the search, and just as you would within Jungle Scout, you would get um, a list of products um, directly related to the criteria that you've put into the system. So when that comes back, there we go. You see, you can go down there, and it, you can see they all match the, um, the criteria you've put in, and you're in there looking for your next FBA product. So that works very much like the web app in Jungle Scout. Um, but the good thing with Helium 10, like I said before, is a suite of tools. So you've got the Chrome extension, 
and you've got black box. So, so far you've got both the tools that Jungle Scout have got. Um, and then this is when you get the additional tools. So you've got Trendster as well, um, which I've used a couple of times, but my favorite tools are Magnet and Cerebro, which you would have seen in my previous videos. Now, what I like about these tools is the data is from amazon.co.uk. Now, if you go to Jungle Scout and go to their Keyword Scout tool, they do not have an option for amazon.co.uk. Now, this video isn't about knocking Jungle Scout because I still believe it's a very, very good web app um, and it's a very, very good Chrome extension. The reason I'm doing this video is because I believe Helium 10 offers a more complete solution um, overall for the, for the monthly fee. So let's just use that wooden chopping board example again from last week and click search and this will pull all the relevant well not not all relevant but 90 percent of the trap the data is relevant there will obviously be some stuff and that's not relevant then you can use the filters um, to exclude the, the data that's not relevant so um, what I'm gonna do is once that comes back I'm then going to use these filters to break down the data further um, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm not really interested in uh, single word phrases that's, that's going to be very difficult to um, to promote or stand out with so I'm looking at a minimum minimum I want a minimum of two words in my in my keywords and then the search volume I want a minimum of 100 searches per month so if we click apply now so if you look now you'll see out of the 984 keywords we have filtered that down to just a list of 129 keywords and then the next thing I like to do is sort them by search volume so that you can see the keywords which have the highest traffic now what I also do is add in a very relevant keyword so if we put chop in in this example that will exclude a lot of the gumph and you can see there we've now got this really really good list of keywords that you can use to form your list in um, and your back-end keywords and stuff like that um, and Cerebro works in a very similar way which is just it gives you this data based on doing a reverse ASIN lookup um, of any other product um, that you put in the system so um, it actually gives you a few suggestions here so if I click in here on that product it will open it up in Cerebro and when you switch to .co.uk it will give you the data let's do a new search it will give you the data um, for that product the keywords that are relevant so you've got the two tools one from entering your keywords itself and the other from doing the reverse ASIN in between those you should be able to find some great keywords with real UK genuine Amazon data um, to help you create your list in your launch campaign um, the other thing, the good thing with this data is if you sometimes find a product niche say for example chopping boards if you put chopping boards in as the keywords it might it will tell you all of the search volumes for the keywords and you might for example look at that, vol that volume and go do you know what plastic chopping boards have got a huge search volume but the competition is really low or it might be a version of chopping boards like a chopping board set and so sometimes you can use this keyword research at the product research stage to get ideas for other products um, but anyway I'm digressing a bit let's get back to helium 10 so black box for finding products magnet and cerebro for getting keywords ideas you can then take the data from either cerebro or magnet straight into Frankenstein which is a keyword processor so we've narrowed this down to 50 keywords so I can take this straight through to Frankenstein. So say for example we were just doing your back-end keyword list and you decided which keyword you'd used elsewhere you can come in here you can you can choose um, one word per line so you can see all of the chopping boards there then it's removed all the duplicates and then the other thing you can do is you can include the word count frequency so you don't have to have them on um, separate lines so we can just put only spaces in and then all of a sudden you've got a lovely copy and paste word set for your back-end keywords. So yeah Frankenstein is really useful the next one is scribbles and I use this is this is no lie I used scribbles early this week um, to completely rewrite the product I just launched um, so what it allows you to do is take for example the data from Frankenstein let's just have a look it's in the history there restore so we can take this data let's grab that and then we can go straight into scribbles and we can pop it um, on this uh, left hand side and click apply and what it is that will, that will process that to tell you the best words and phrases to use in your listing and as you start typing them so you might start off by typing um, chopping board chopping board or chopping board wooden but let's say chopping board and you'll see straight away it puts a line through and then it's got the number count one and also um, in the phrases as well it's, it's put it through chopping board so this is where this becomes so handy because you can create your listing um, without missing keywords or key phrases that you've done keyword research on and know are valuable so you can go through and some of you are, you know I know they say you shouldn't repeat but I always repeat your key phrases so I'm going to want chopping board and wooden chopping board three or four times throughout my 
um, the title, bullet points, and the description combined. Um, whereas other keywords, like you look at some of these ones in black, you might decide not to use them in your listing at all and just use them as back end keywords. This is where Scribble is really, really useful for that. Um, index checker, that's really good once your product's launched to check whether your product is indexing for your back end keywords and some of your main key phrases. Keyword tracking is probably one of my favorite tools and it's what, it's what brought me to Helium 10 in the first place. So you can see at the moment I'm tracking two products on here. I'm gonna have to blur these out so you can't actually see them. Um, but you can see it tracks these once a day, every single product. And for my first product I launched, I've got nine keywords tracking. Um, that's when I was using the free version. And the one that I've launched last week, I've got 13 keywords tracking. Um, and the good thing is when you click into this, it gives you data for all of the keywords. So it, it tells you how your rank, your current rank and how you've improved. And then you've got a breakdown of the graph to show how I'll scroll down a little bit further. You can see that these are improving um, as this launch is taking place. So everything's in the green at the moment. So things are going well, you know, I'm in position 20, 30, 40 if so. At the moment, my product is getting to kind of the, the bottom of page two onto page three, which is really good. I've only been live just, um, just on a week now. So, and this is essential to know how well your launch is going. So what you'd normally do is the keywords that you've decided to add to your listing that you found from Cerebro and Magnet, um, you would put them into the keyword tracker so that when you launch your product, you can see when you start to rank for those keywords. You've got some additional tools. So you've got the hijack monitoring, um, which is essential, especially if you've got lots of products so you can find out straight away if one of your product gets hijacked. Um, you've got this inventory protector. So if you've given out free coupons, this can help prevent abuse of that type of thing. Refund, refund Genie, which you want to run maybe once every month or two, which will tell you any Amazon disbursements you're owed that they have not paid you, and you can chase them up. And then obviously Misspellinator, which pretty much uh, does what it says, it checks for spelling mistakes. But of these, I mean, you've got the, you've got X-Ray, which is the Chrome extension, Black Box, Magnet Cerebro, Frankenstein, Scribbles, and the Keyword Tracker, plus um, the Hijack Monitor. I mean, all of those tools together, for me, it's such a compelling package. Um, and you can try it for free. I mean, the packages, if we go over to the, let's take, we go over to their free, their free plan, you can try 20 black box uses, um, two uses of Magnet and Cerebro per day, which if you're launching a single product, it's your first product, you might be able to get enough data from those two searches. Um, and then you've got other bits there, you see you've got 1,000 requests of X-Ray as well. So if you wanna try Helium 10, you can do it for free. Now, if you are considering signing up for their Platinum plan, which is what I've just shown you and would recommend um, for anyone that's kind of further along in their journey because it offers such a good suite of tools without any usage limits on most of the key tools. Um, it's usually $97 per month. Um, Helium 10 have kindly given me some discount codes that you guys can use. So if you go to tinyurl.com forward slash Darren Helium 10, you can then choose between discount codes. So if you think you're gonna use Helium 10 for more than a month, then you can get 10% off every month by using the code Darren 10, all in capitals. Alternatively, if you just wanna give the kind of the Platinum program a try just for a month, you can get 50% off using Darren 50. So if it's $97 a month, 50% off, it's less than $50, you know, convert that back to UK pounds, you're probably paying about 35 pound for a month of Helium 10 Platinum, which is very, very good value. So let me know what you think of Helium 10. Um, if any of you guys have used it, I'd love to hear what you think. Also, if there's any particular one of the tools from the suite you'd like me to cover in more detail in future videos, let me know in the comments below.